What's going on, everybody? Joe from Total Justice Gaming here with a the final uh, Buddy Tech video of the week. Uh, we will be pushing into Buddy Brawls next week, hopefully. Depends on how locals go and how the rest of my crew uh, help me out with uh, match videos. So today we are going to be looking at version 2 of the Zeta. Uh, we will be getting right into that. So we got the Zeta flag. Uh, yes, I was very fortunate enough in my box pulls to actually pull the secret flag. I pulled uh, bought two additional boxes after I did the uh, box openings. And my buddy is Mud Demon Eclipticon. Uh, for obvious reasons, which I will discuss, this is only the second variant. I will be doing a third variant video of this as I do more play testing and getting more through. Uh, there is one slight change. I will discuss that in the course of the video. So, there are our flag and our buddy. So, of course, with the buddy, we got uh, four copies of Eclipticon. This is going to be really weird because half of these, if not all of these, are impact monsters. So, we run four Eclipticon. It's a, it's a 314. It says, uh, stack ability of at the end of this card's battle. You may put this card uh, from your field to your drop zone. If you do, gauge a card from the top of the deck. So that sets up gauge for a lot of the cards that we need. Um, it also goes with the combo that's floating around with Reverse Skull Guilty Wave. Um, I'm just going to tell you guys flat out right now, I do not have any Guilty Waves. I did order them via Ideal 808. Uh, I did, of course, try Card Academy first. I love Card Academy to death. John's a wonderful person. He does a great job at the shop. Unfortunately, he was out or I would have definitely bought them from him. Uh, I do have a substitute for it, though, so uh, keep in mind this is only version 2. Version 2 is going to run the uh, alternate. Version 3 will run uh, Reverse Skull Wave when we get into that. But on to what we're currently looking at, we run four Eclipticons. Uh, next up, we run three Water Demon Hydrolius. Hydralis. Yeah, we'll just go with Hydralis. Uh, 526, uh, call cost of 1, and when he enters the field, put a card from the opponent's gauge into the drop zone. That's really good. I like gauge control. One of my favorite things to do to my opponents when I play Dark Heroes is just swing in with uh, the evil Guy Grander looking dude to make him lose gauge in opening turn. I love that you can do that in this deck. I know this is also a Dark Hero deck, which is probably why you can do it. Uh, but we run three of him. Next up, we run three Wind Demon uh, Kololoon. Ah, that's a mouthful. Um, so we got... God, I'm still saying I'm a whole bunch. Sorry, guys. Uh, he's a 311 uh, that says at the end of your turn, return this card to your hand. So you can bounce him back and use him for discard cost. Really, really good. He's a size 0, meaning he can get in with just about anything. Uh, swing in and then bounce right back. Uh, then we got two Fire Demon Elytron. Uh, comes into play. Pop a monster with uh, pop a monster in the opponent's center. Pretty straightforward, decent stats at 5-1-1, size 1, so, you know, he goods in there and then immediately blows up at the end of turn like all good Dark Heroes. Uh, we got two Wind Demon Cayman. Wind Demon Cayman is our size 1, who's a 4-1-4, pretty good stats. Uh, activate, if your buddy monsters an impact monster, I can pitch the card from hand. If I do, put a soul from monsters. Uh, so into the drop zone. Uh, this is really good. I really, really think it's needed. I would honestly probably flip the numbers on this and Psychololoon, um, if only because I see an increase in uh, Jaegers and Star Dragon World in my personal meta. So I may actually swap this out in version 3. I'll let you guys know after we get some testing done. Uh, we got... Play one Light Demon, uh, which is our one of our size threes, six two six. He's got Soul Guard and Counter Attack, which is really good. I apologize for having to pick it up. I'm trying to have him read him. Uh, 
Call cost is pay gauge and so one for the top of the deck. If I have something with Zeta in the name, he gets 2,000 defense and can't be destroyed by monster effects. Really, really good. Let's see if I can't get a better picture of him. There we go. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Uh, of course, to accompany him, we have the Darkness Demon Iono uh, Miran, who's a 725 call cost of a gauge. Uh, if you have a card with Zeta on the field, he gets 3,000 in a crit, so he becomes 10 crit 3 with Penetrate. Uh, we only run rid of him because I only got one pack. Uh, next up, we're running into the crux of the decks, which is the Zetas. So we run three revolutionary Zetas, all buddy rare. Uh, I bought three. We bought me and two of the other guys from the Total Justice team, uh, Michael Four and Trey Ragsdale. We all got boxes, and we all just swapped decks. Trey got the Sun Dragon. Four got the Ozzy. I got the Hero World. Uh, by now, everybody should know what he is. He's a size 3, 9, 3, 4. Uh, you can call him for 3 gauge. You can transform into him. Uh, he can't be destroyed or returned to hand. And you can't call anything outside of impact monsters. He can also uh, impact transform uh, for 2 gauge. And you can also freely transform into him during your turn. So he's the first R6... Uh, Zeta's all easily searchable with the spells we got in the deck or easy to draw into. I run three of him. <laughs> Pardon. Uh, next we got uh, Force Element Master Zeta. I got run two of him. He's a 824. Uh, also a call cost three. Transform into him. Save him effect to Zeta. The moment you're transformed, you're locked into playing impact monsters only. Uh, when he attacks, I can put a Fire, one fire, one water, one wind, and one earth. Run my drops into the bottom of my deck in any order. If I do, I have burned the opponent for four. We're running all four uh, types of elements in the deck. You guys know I love free burn damage in this game, so it's no surprise I'm running two of them. Uh, finally, we run the biggest and baddest of all the Zetas. We run the Armored Battle Demon Zeta. Uh, of course, he's just like everybody else. He's a 10k with He's a 10 2 3 uh, on the Zeta transformation ability. He's also got whatever an impact monster enters the field this turn, he gets plus one crit. Uh, and he's impact transform for a gauge of two. I only one run of him because, again, I only got one uh, god pack. But, again, he's very easily searchable. We run a ridiculous amount of draw, and we can search him out. So. As I said at the opening of the video, I do not have the Guilty Skull Waves coming. They are coming in the mail. So what I had to do was figure out how to get a good item to work with uh, the final ultimate form of Zeta, Battle Demon. I had to sit there. I thought about it. I was going to run Abigail. But ultimately, after looking at all the impact monsters I could run, um, it's going to be Ball. Ball will let me uh, do it. Just for the thing, I think I do have to run, uh, hmm, I'm going to have to actually look at that. Uh, just occurred to me, I may actually have to run Gem Clone in order to run Ball. Uh, if that is the case, and I can swap out a couple of the cards till the reverse gear waves come in. Uh, if not, I just got some other Hero World Impact monsters. But, you know, we can run this inside because I'm going to run also Gem Clones in sideboard too. So this is a sideboard until Guilty Skull Wave comes in. The reason why I chose him is because when he does come into play, I can make Zeta get two crit instead of one crit every time he comes into play via the ball skill. So there is that. Uh, so again, this is sideboard merely until uh, Reverse Skull Wave comes in. I'll probably swap him out with something else. Uh, probably just some gem clones, maybe a variable cord. That way I can get some soul into some of the impact monsters I am playing, like the light or dark demon. So, guys, this is a sideboard card until the skull waves come in. Just bear in mind. Uh, of course, we are running for spells for Joker. Uh, for fine Joker, this lets us search out immediately, uh, Zeta. Zeta will, of course, let us me get any Zeta in the thing, meaning I can go, as soon as I play it, I can go right into Armor Battle Deity and immediately start stacking those crits. Um, this does not run uh, any sort of big defense cards outside of uh, 10k defense. 
Uh, as you saw in the actual anime, this may actually be better run than I've seen through your moves because you're not negating the damage. You're not um, reducing the damage, so all those monsters that say can't negate, can't reduce, they still fall to this card because you're doing neither. You're just giving defense. And 10,000 defense is actually pretty decent, save for very, very few monsters in this game. So they'll have a hard time overcoming you. Uh, we run 4 draw 2, which is really good because this is a counter ability to draw 2 cards. Uh, we do need this. We have got to draw through this deck, get everything we can as quickly as possible. <coughs> Bless me. Uh, so we run four of these. We need to draw as many, much as we can in this deck to filter through as quick as possible. Uh, to help facilitate that, we got, we run gauge, uh, two gauge and draw. So that's a total of six ways to draw. Uh, this draws you two and gauges one. To help correspond with that, we run four hyper energy. Uh, we also need a lot of gauge, especially when the guilty waves come in, because guilty wave has that infinite loop or near infinite loops as long as you have gauge. So you're gonna need for that. So we also have three gauge threes. Uh, again, this is just a lesser version of hyper energy. It's the only difference is this can be played as counter. Whereas the hyper energies need to be played during the main phase. So we run three of this to help uh, keep that gauge stocked. I run two shallow, that's a shallow shot because you still need more monster destruction. Uh, big monster destruction, always, always good in the deck. And then finally we run uh, armor, talisman, elemental return. That way we can get uh, two of any of our elements and put them back into the deck for a gauge. And that's the deck. So, again, guys, I do realize I made a slight bumble with that uh, ball dragon. I forgot that I do need to run a uh, gem coin in order to use him. We will be using him for sideboard. Version 3, once we get some more playtesting done, it will be uh, with the reverse skill, gold, reverse skull Guilty Waves. So hopefully you like this video. I apologize about the slight misstep in uh, the deck build. It will be rectified. I do hope you guys enjoy these videos. I love making them for you guys. So if you can do me a favor, hit like and subscribe. Uh, leave comments. If you've been paying attention to the comment sections, I love talking to you guys. I love getting the encouragement from you guys. I love the constructive criticism from you guys. So if you leave a dislike, please, as always, Leave a comment about what you didn't like. It's going to help me and help the guys get better making these videos for you and making better content for you guys. So until uh, next week, I'll see everybody later. Thanks for watching.